Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe button. Like, subscribe button. Tell a friend, tell a friend. So after listening to the ARAB interview, the ARAB interview, you know, ARAB said everything that he was saying for the most part for entertainment purposes. And I have to admit, I kind of believe him, but I came across this interview right here and I said to myself, is this made up or is this what really happened? I, I wasn't too sure, but I heard A. R. Ab saying a crazy story, and he had, he had, he had proof. He didn't just say it to say it. He had to actually had proof. If you don't believe me, this is what happened right here. Take a look. I'm gonna give you another history lesson. I went to war with the most dangerous people in my neighborhood. I went to the block. And we went, we came to a block, and there was six of us. We were going to murder everybody on the corner. Yeah, as I was saying, here is very convincing. As you can see, he's very convincing. He has a very convincing demeanor. But I'm not sure if he was joking or not. I'm sure that he know that, you know, he's being recorded. So I think it might have been a gimmick. But listen to his friend. Listen to what his friend had to say. And I said, is it a gimmick or is it true? Right. I didn't know one of my friends was on the corner. And we fired on the corner. And guess who's on the corner? One of my friends was on the corner. I fired on him. Yeah. He does look very convincing, as I'm saying. One of his friends was on the corner that he fired on. He has a hand gestures, he has everything. You know, he looks like he want to get up and start dancing about it, to be honest, but I'm not certain. But this way he's saying right here, that's why ARAB is so popular. Turn the camera that way. No Brace Brock was on that corner. Facts. How, what happened to Brace Brock? Man, them niggas let that shit fly. <laughs> and I got the fuck out of here. I'm keeping it being, man, you know. So he confirmed what A.R. Ab is saying. He confirmed it. Or are they both making things up? I'm not certain. Is it made up? Was it planned out? Or is that what really happened? You know, Allah was with me. You know what I'm saying? Because them boys was about seven, eight deep. And I looked one way, I looked the next. And they was lined in the middle of the street. Throwing the shit. I ducked down, rode, kicked the motherfucking door with porch I was sitting on in, ran to the third floor, took all my fucking clothes off, and made sure I am no fucking bulletin. Just like that. He explained it so vividly. I might I'm thinking it might be true. He explained it so vividly. I'm not certain. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this is for entertainment purposes? Or do you think A.R. Ab was really living like that? Because in his recordings, he's saying those for entertainment purposes. What do I know? Until next time, guys. Tell a friend, tell a friend. F-Service TV. Here we go. Here we go. And I seen him do it.